Hi, Kara. So um, I've noticed a new thing in Google. Um, but basically, if you go into your site, like you're at your um, home page, and you go over here to more, um, there's two ways to edit the header. Um, you can go to manage site. And when you go to manage site, um, there's basically the site layout, colors and fonts and themes. Um, so you could actually change it by going into site layout. Okay, and then this will let you, uh, for example, change the header right here. You can change the logo. Um, you can even change the alignment. But I have to show you something that's even cooler. So let's say that I'm on my home page. Um, if you go to more, they have this new option now. It says edit site layout. Um, they just added this, and when you click that, um, you get a chance to um, change the header, uh, the navigation, the sidebar, and the footer. Um, so you can actually add some, you know, the ribbon here as well. Um, but let's go into the header, and I'll show you how to do that. So if you click on header, oops, sorry. If you click on header, um, and then you click within that space where, like, the title of your site is, um, it says edit site here so just click in that space um, and then from here you can change like the height of it um, you could change the alignment um, but what you want to do is actually select a logo okay and right now most of these are going to be no logo um, just go to custom logo and then choose a file okay so let's say that um, I'm trying to think if I have any. Let's see. Okay, here's an image. This image might be really large, but I'm going to try it. So here's a picture, and I'm going to choose that file and click OK. Whoa, that's really, really large. Um, I'm not sure how. It's not really letting me um, change the size. Oh, wait, let's see. I'm going to just change it to like 50 pixels and see what happens. No, okay, so one of the things then you'll want to make sure is that your file is actually the size. Um, if it's really large, you'll want to resave it as a smaller file. Um, but let's just say I say okay to this. Um, in order, and I know this looks really large, but let's say this is the header that I want. Um, then I would click close. Okay, and now this is my new header. I know this looks really ridiculous, but hopefully your picture is not as large um, as this one is. Um, what I could do to make my picture smaller is, um, like, for example, I could open, let's say this is the picture I want to use, right? Um, one of the things I could do here is um, open this in uh, either Photoshop or it looks like you were already using a program that you could edit. Um, so you could just make it smaller. This is, a, like I said, a really large file. Okay, and then um, just make sure when you're done that you click um, save up here. So let me go back to my home. Ah, ah. <laughs> this isn't working so well. Um, I'm going to just click, oh, I am at home. Um, remember, go to more. Hey, Simon, hold on a second. And then go to edit site layout. Okay, and then if you want to edit the footer, you'll actually just click in the footer space. Okay, and I'm going to go to no logo again and see what happens. Okay, and then just click close when you're done. Um, as far as changing the background, I think that you can also do that um, if you go into manage site. And then you go here to um, site layout, colors and fonts, or themes. Um, the themes, is, it's just going to let you choose a different theme. Um, but if you go into colors and fonts, um, this is really where you can change like the background color um, and this is where you can have a background image. So if you wanted the ribbon to be an image, um, you could actually click on this and then, for example, say custom and add that picture file there. So let's see what happens um, if I choose the cicada on that one. Okay, and then I'll say um, save. And then you'll go back to your site by clicking on the title. And now you can see the background is, is that cicada back there. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any other questions, and I would be happy to walk you through it. All right?